Hi, this is Bob Seitz, full of years. Um, I'm hiding here in my closet um, to illustrate a point. Uh, I'm not sure it's going to be made that well, but at least you'll be interested in what's in my closet. This is one of the places where um, stuff gets stored that we don't always need. And as a place of storage, as a, as a hiding place, it's also a place where things get forgotten. <laughs> And in this series of campaigning with spirit, one of the things that occurs to me over and over again is that, that I weigh one way, perhaps the best way, to discern and to bring out of hiding what's good and what's worth working for is to say and to think and to ask, what's Christ-like? Well, hiding in this closet are all kinds of things that I'll never e use, and, and you can see some of them here. Well, don't look too carefully. But it doesn't make sense to hide in a closet this question during a campaign. What would Jesus do? Where do I see Jesus Christ in the people and in the propositions of a campaign? of a political landscape or feeling. Where, in fact, has Jesus come out of hiding and said to the rest of us, hey, look what's going on. Follow me. Do what God wills. Well, I hope to take some things out of hiding um, in this blog, and in the meantime, uh, while you're reading this, let me shut off this light again because it's kind of scary in here. Uh, you never know what's going to come out of closets. Me. I'm going to come out this closet and I'm going to tell you that as I campaign and as I think about what it means to be a campaign worker, I make sure that I hold dearly to the answers to this question. Where's Christ? Where's Jesus in all of this? See what I think. See what you think. Bob Seitz, full of years.